Hello, it's Diane at Minerva. I hope you're all having a super week and today I would like to share with you a sew along of this wonderful simplicity pattern and it's a Mimi G style pattern number 9450 and we're going to be making today this version here the round neck sweater and I think this will be fabulous in this Minerva exclusive range sweater knit so this particular design is the Monstera street design. It's got this beautiful big leaf on it. And I think this will be fabulous for the coming autumn winter months here in the UK or wherever you are. It will be great for a warm put on to keep you nice and toasty when the temperature drops. So this particular fabric is 138 centimetres wide. It's 96% polyester and 4% elastane. It's got a 70% stretch width and a 20% stretch length. And it'll be brilliant for all your sweater makes. Now pairing with this, I'm going to be using this Minerva Core Range rib. Now this particular rib is available in 90 colours and this one is 80 centimetres wide. So whatever sweater you're making, you're bound to find one of those that's suitable for you. Now all the products will be listed below. So should you wish to sew along, you can find everything there. So you need to look out for the Simplicity Pattern, the Minerva Exclusive Sweater Knit, in the Monstera design, the core range rib, a matching thread, a matching zip and I'm also going to be linking some of our wonderful Minerva labels. Now these are perfect for all your makes, brilliant to add to gifts and they just give that extra special touch. And on the back it says hashtag Minerva Maker. So I'll link those in there too. Now before we begin you want to give your fabric a good wash. Make sure you prepare it and then we're all set to have a look at our pattern. Now you always want to take a tape measure and locate your sizing on the back. Measure yourself before you begin. It's always best to do this before you start a new project. And don't just go on your standard dress size because these can vary by quite a lot. So when you've measured yourself and checked it with the sizing here, we're going to be making version A, but should you wish to make the other version, please feel free to sew along with us, but stop where it's appropriate. Now, it would be wonderful if while you're here, you could take a look at the Minerva Craft Club. With the Minerva Craft Club, you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. And that will include anything that you buy with us today. You can also create a free account. It's a wonderful way to connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world. Share all your projects and ideas and gain inspiration. And I love saving all my future makes and projects on there too. And also sharing what I've just made. It's really good fun and it's completely free. So why not go ahead and do that now? So now that we're ready, let's go and cut our pattern pieces together. So here we have our pattern pieces for versions A and B. So here is your front. You're going to cut one on the fold and here is your fold line. Make a note of the circles and the notches and also the pocket markings here. This is your waistline point. Here we have our back piece. Again, you're going to cut one on the fold of the fabric here. Make a note of your notches and your circles. So here we have our sleeve pieces. So this is your left sleeve and you're going to cut one. Make a note of the notches and the points here. So you've got a cutting line here and then you've got a stitching line and these circles. This is a straight grain and here you have notches here and circles here. There is also a notch at the bottom where the cuff will attach. 
and then we have the right upper sleeve so here is your grain line and you also have stitching lines again and it's cut here make a note of these circles and the notches and then we have the right lower sleeve here is your grain line make a note of the notches and the circles so here we have our sleeve pocket you're going to cut two of these here is your straight grain make a note of the circles and notches here we have the side pocket again cut two straight grain is here notches and circles here and here and then here we have the center front piece for the neckline this little detail piece you're going to cut one of this and then you've got this broken line down the center and this is the straight grain now here we have your contrast rib pieces so first of all there's the neck band you're going to cut one here is a center fold and the straight grain make a note of the notches and circles this is the lower band this time you're going to cut two again make a note of your markings and the sleeve band again cut two here is your straight grain mark on your notches so now we're ready to begin making our sweatshirt so first of all you want to check your machine needle so I'm using a ballpoint needle today so you want a stretch or a ballpoint needle and I'm using a size 90 because this fabric is medium weight you may want to test this on a piece of scrap fabric first of all so that's what I'm using today so check that have a little try on a piece of scrap and then when you've done that we're ready to begin so half of your thread wants to be wound onto your spool and we're going to take our front piece and we want this little triangular piece here at the top of your sweatshirt and we're going to pin that and line it up here at the front neck so this goes like this now you can edge stitch this close to the edge of your fabric but sometimes the fabric can curl a little especially when it's in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on a zigzag stitch I'm going to shorten my stitch so that they're close together and I'm going to zigzag over that catching on here and on the sweatshirt so it's going back and forth all the way down we're going to do that so that's our first job and then after that we've got our two markings at the side here so circles here and here we're going to reinforce here and about a centre and a half, a uh, centimetre and a half away from the edge we're going to stitch down this point and reinforce at the bottom. We're going to do that on both sides also. So I'm on a zigzag stitch and I've shortened it to the length to just less than two. So you could try this first on a piece of scrap if you wish just to see how your stitches are looking. Just right. This point I'm going to turn. And by hand you want to just check where you are now because you're on a zigzag. So I've Move it by hand before you set off sewing again with the with the pedal. Check you're in the right place. I'm going to take that pin out now. So here we are. So we have a nice V there at the front, and it's caught in those raw edges so that they won't curl out. Now you can baste across here also if you wish just to keep this nice and flat. Now we're going to reinforce down those sides where those pockets are going to go. So between your two circles at the sides here. Now it does say to press under 6mm on this edge but that is quite hard with a knit fabric so you may want to just fold it under and baste it but what you're going to do then is you're going to fold it back again and stitch it in place. So 6mm so it's just nice and small 
that line of stitching and what you're doing is on the right side of your sweatshirt you're just making the edge of your pocket so fold it back six mil fold it back again pin or baste if you wish and we're just going to stitch down here So next you're going to pin your pocket to your front piece. So what you want is you want the right side to the wrong side of your top. So I've pinned one side in already as you can see here and I'm going to show you on the other. So this is the right side of my top and here is my pocket piece. Now I find it helps if you do it from the front. So here we have our finished pocket edge which we have just created and here is my pocket and this is the side. Here are the notches and the markings on the side. So we place this on and we line it up. So you have your notches at the bottom also to line up with, just here. There is the side of your pocket. Line up your circles here and here. Make sure everything's lying flat. Now what I've done on the other side, and you may want to do also, is pin it from the top like this first so it doesn't move about. And just baste here and here and also along the bottom so that it's not all shifting around while you're doing your top stitching. So that's what I've done first of all. And then on the wrong side, see it's moved because I've not stitched it yet. On the wrong side you're going to pin it around this top curve like this. Now what I think is you can stitch that actually from the inside if you prefer. So you can transfer your markings to the right side. I'm going to stitch mine from the inside because I just feel we can see that the edge of this pocket more clearly here. to start assembling our sleeves and I think this is a really nice detail that this particular pattern has a zip pocket on the sleeve which makes it a little different from other sweater patterns. So we're going to do that now. So here you have one of your pocket pieces and your lower sleeve piece here. So this is wrong side up and this is wrong side down. You're going to place it on top like this match up your markings and then you're going to base that in position. Now here you're going to pin your right upper sleeve in position. So now we want right sides facing, so this is the lower sleeve and this is the upper sleeve. So right sides facing and your pocket facing is on the other side, look. We're going to match up these circles here and here and we're going to pin it but what we're going to do is just going to release that pin a little. We're going to stitch from here to the circle and reinforce and then at the other side from here to the circle and reinforce and we're leaving that gap in between where the zip will go. Change to your zipper foot and begin stitching your zipper in place. So here is my opening. Now you want to stitch close to your zipper teeth. If you've got an invisible zipper foot like I have this will keep it central. If not you want to be pressing these teeth down as you go so that you're stitching really close to the back of the coils. Now when you have both sides of your zip in place, place your other pocket piece on top and you're going to stitch it along here and then you can stitch both your pockets together. You might want to pin it first of all. 
Now you're going to stitch your dart in the top of both your sleeves. So starting from the shoulder edge, back back to begin, and you're going to stitch along your stitching line and you're going to come off at a gradual rate. So not too suddenly here. And you're going to knot your threads. Try and push the knot down towards the edge of your stitching. Do this on both sleeves. Now pin both your sleeves to your front and back pieces. So this is my back piece here on the table and these are my sleeves. So I've got my two notches here and my two notches here on my back. So we match those up first of all. Watch it at the neck and at the underarm. Then we can pin the rest of the way and then do the same on the other side. So you match your two notches to your back two notches on your back piece first of all and your neck and your underarm points. And then continue with the rest of your pins. Now we're going to stitch that in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance and then we're going to stitch again three millimetres away from that. I am going to overlock this when I've done my seams so you may wish to do that or zigzag. If you're not doing that and you're leaving your edges raw you can trim close to your stitching. Now pin your front to your sleeves in the same way and stitch those in place. going to stitch your front to your back at the underarm and side seam. So first of all you want to match your underarm seam here, so pin that in position and you've also got your notches here on your sleeves which need to be lined up and also the notches at the side which line up with the pocket here. So you're going to be catching in those raw edges at the side of your pocket here. This will be in the seam. So make sure that that's all lined up nicely by pinning it before you stitch that in place. And you just want to take extra special care here that you catch in that edge of the pocket as you come down that side seam and that you don't leave any raw edges poking out around the sides of your pocket. Finish pinning the rest of your sleeve the back seam of your neckband then with wrong sides together you're going to fold it in half and you can pin that the whole way around or baste When you've done this, you're going to pin it to the neck of your sweater, making sure you match your circles, your centre back point and your shoulders. So as you're pinning your neckband, you need to be stretching on it as you do so and matching up those points. So make sure that you've got your shoulders, your centre back and centre front and then stretch on it as you pin the rest. Then st Now when you have your neckband in place, just inside the seam line, you want to go around that again and stitch it another line of stitching. And this is just extra stability. I'm adding a Minerva label at the side seam. So I felt that was the best place for it in this particular make. 
you might wish to put yours at the centre back neck. Now fold your sleeve band in half lengthways, the right sides together and you're going to stitch this long edge here. Turn it through. Make sure that your seams are lying flat and facing each other on the inside there. Either pin or base the top edge there, making sure that your raw edges are even. And you're going to pin this to the bottom of your sleeve matching your notches and your underarm seam with the seam here. Now when you're inserting your cuff you really want to be stretching on the cuff fabric, so the rib, pulling it as you insert the sleeve because the sleeve as you can see is quite full, quite wide compared to the cuff and also I took a little bit off because I've got quite small wrists and you might want to do the same so I just took another centimetre out of that just to make it fit my cuff a little more snugly. So you really want to pull on it when you're stitching that sleeve to that cuff fabric. So here is my second cuff, so I've got my seam here lined up with my underarm seam. And then here's the notch for the halfway point. So you find that on your sleeve and match that up here. I tend to do is the cuffs on the bottom so I'm pulling on the cuff and I'm easing in the, the sleeve fabric with my fingers. Stitch both your waistband panels together matching the notches at the side seam. Pop your band over your sweater which is the right way around now look and your band is sort of upside down. This is the centre point of your band and this is the centre point of your top, your sweater, because I folded it in half and made a little notch. So if you line those up and do the same at the back point, and then line up the side seams. enjoyed sewing along with me today and if you've made this pattern before please let us know in the comments below along with any photographs we always love to see what you've been making I think this would look fabulous in any of our Minerva exclusive range sweater knits and also I think you could make this particular design maybe with a darker grey or maybe a black band for the collar the waistband and the cuffs or maybe something completely different like a completely different colour that would look fabulous too and also if you're not sure about the pocket on the sleeve or uncertain about inserting inserting zips and you still want to make this sweater you still could go ahead and make it but just make the regular sleeve and cut it out as a pair rather than cutting out the sleeve that has the two pieces and the zip fastener so that's a way around that if you're not sure about the zip pocket. So a fabulous pattern and there's also the option to make the hoodie version. So that's one for me to try next. Do you like what I'm wearing today? If so, this is one of our Minerva exclusive range viscose chalet fabrics. And this particular pattern is Simplicity 8887. And it's for this robe cardit style and that's what I'm wearing. And this design of fabric is called Rainforest Rhythm. 
and I will link that below also in case you're interested in an additional make today. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. And I hope to be back with you with another sew along really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.